SCA, Minhag of the Week, Life Cycles. We're on the marriage ceremony. We're up to the consecration of the marriage. So after the initial first three berachot, the seder irusin, the betrothal, you have hagefen and besamim and the beracha of mekadesh amoyse aydeh hukab kedushin. After that point, we have the point where the groom consecrates the marriage, okay, by telling the bride, Hari at mekudesh li, behold, you are sanctified unto me. This sanctification, this consecration, how was it done? What was used? What was said? So, overall, the Jewish world, both Ashkenazim and Sephardim, use a ring, usually a silver ring or a gold ring, depending on different customs, according to the Zohar, it needs to be a ring, it needs to be a silver ring, it has to be round, there's all different things. But if you go back to earlier sources, if you go back to the Mishnah, to the Gemara, to the Rishonim, we see early on that the initial custom, this consecration was done with silver. And not just silver, but with a silver coin. And this is still, in fact, the Minhag of the Halabi community it was the Minhag in Halab as attested to by various uh, manuscript documents and it was the Minhag that was carried from Aleppo to the shores of the United States by those Aleppian immigrants. It's a custom that remained here and it's the only Halabi community that has held on to this custom of using a silver coin. If you go to Mexico or to Argentina or Panama or Yerushalayim or any place where there's a Halabi community, they're not as strict as doing the wedding ceremony with a coin. The Halabi community in Brooklyn has held on to it and you would use a silver coin. This is a 1922 American silver peace dollar. This is typical of what would be used in the community for many, many years. Obviously, older coins or newer coins, but something that has value to it, that immediately upon seeing it, you could tell that it has worth and value to it. And the custom, as we said in Halab, instead of saying, okay, with this ring, right, they would say, with this silver coin. Now, as we know, when we say this formula at the wedding ceremony today, we translate it. Okay, the hacham will tell the words to the groom to say it, and then once he says it in the Hebrew-Aramaic mix, he will then repeat it in the lingua franca of the United States. It will be English in the Middle East. It was done in Arabic. Whatever language the bride would understand. Um, something else that we see nowadays is the changing of this language. Growing up, it was, Behold, you are sanctified unto me with this coin, according to the law of Moses and Israel. Later on, it started making some changes based upon various rabbis that joined the community. And now we're more or less at the version of, Behold, you are sanctified unto me with the silver of this coin, according to the law of Moshe and Israel. So, even though the wording has changed in English, the meaning is still the same. But it remains a coin, because spa had in. Also, what we see nowadays at weddings, and this is already going on for at least 30 years, maybe a little bit longer, before he does this consecration, you hear the rabbis whispering among, the, among themselves, Shavei Peruta, Shavei Peruta, Shavei Peruta. Is it worth a Peruta? Is it, does it have the value of a Peruta? A Peruta is about three cents in today's American uh, monetary system. So that's why a well-known silver coin, the monetary value is well-known, and when it's an older coin, you know it's worth more than the actual dollar that it is. There was no question that it's Shaveh Peruta, and that question was never asked in the past. It was always known. He has a silver coin. He showed it to the Hakam before the wedding ceremony. Everybody knows that the value was there, and that's what was used, and so you didn't hear anybody saying Shaveh Peruta, Shaveh Peruta, yes, Shaveh Peruta. No, it was just automatically take the coin, Say it in English, it was handed to her, placed in the palm of her hand, 
ceremony of the consecration of the sanctification is done. And that is our custom here in the community. It's been going on long and strong in the United States for 120 plus years. And inshallah, all the people that get married this way will have beautiful weddings. Mabruk.